Northeast PA. It's home. We know how to work, how to play, and the right way to eat. We're resilient. We step up and bounce back, united. It takes people who work hard to get the job done. Nobody covers Northeast Pennsylvania like Eyewitness News, together with you. Count on the Eyewitness News I team to fight for you. The only local news team dedicated to exposing the truth, bringing you more investigations and more answers. Have a news tip? Give us a call. We get results. With more than 40 years experience, count on lead I-Team investigative reporter Andy Mahalshik. Only on Eyewitness News on WBRE and WYOU. Have a news tip? Call 570-706-7428 or visit pahomepage.com. The PA Homepage app is brand new and better than ever. Find stories faster with improved navigation and save to read later. Plus, the news alerts you count on. The PA Homepage app, available in the App Store or use the QR code on screen to download today. Fairway Subaru, the right car, the right price, the right dealer. And a very good Tuesday morning, everyone. Yesterday turned out to be gorgeous. Lots of sunshine, and it was pretty warm, too. We had temperatures back in the 70s. A little bit warmer for today. We're getting into the upper 70s, a little bit above average. Average highs there typically in the lower 70s. And then we do see a little bit of a cool down. We'll have a cold front move through for tonight. Temperatures tomorrow only into the lower 60s. Higher elevations likely into the 50s. And then closer to average once again by the end into the weekend of this week. So your eyewitness weather forecast. Sunny start here this this morning, especially there will be an increase of cloud cover as we head into the afternoon. Breezy and warm temperatures reaching back up into the upper 70s. Winds out of the south and west today, 10 to 20 miles per hour. As we head into tonight, mostly cloudy, passing shower possible. There's not a whole lot of moisture with that cold front tonight, so just a chance for a shower. Most areas probably going to stay dry. Temperatures tonight into the mid 40s. Here's a look at your seven day forecast as we get into Wednesday. High pressure builds back in, looking for plenty of sunshine. It will be windy and cooler, like I mentioned, into the lower 60s, higher elevations into the 50s. There could be the potential for some frost, even perhaps a freeze here for Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Temperatures are into the 30s, and then for Thursday, back up into the upper 60s by the afternoon. Give your day a little Kelly. It's this. This is her name. Oh, yeah. Kelly's all new. Hello, Clarkson. <laughs> Every weekday. Let's do it, Kelly. Weekdays at 3 p.m. on WYOU. Nobody can read between the lies. She's an 18-year-old girl. She got a settlement. You saw a little money. You wanted a big red truck. Like Judge Judy. Shiny, shiny, shiny red truck. <laughs> You're watching WYOU 22. Covering all of Northeastern Pennsylvania, Eyewitness News at 5 a.m. starts right now. Health safety concerns at this school causing big changes for voters today. What you need to know on this primary election day. Then an ambulance service facing an uncertain future. The burden that could be put on the three counties it serves if a closure becomes reality. Good morning, everybody. Primary election day. It's May 16th. I'm Tom Williams. We'll get to our top stories in just a moment. But as always, we check in with meteorologist Logan Westrop for a look at our forecast. Hello. Hey, good morning, Tom. Yeah, not too bad. Once again, here, quiet, dry start here as we're out the door this morning. Temperatures not quite as cold, too. We have those numbers right now for the most part into the 40s. Currently at 49 in Pottsville, 41 Sealands Grove. I have 42 in Williamsport and right now in Mount Pocono at 42. And you can see we are running a little bit warmer this morning compared to yesterday by about 5 to close to 10 degrees warmer in some spots. And overall, our high temperatures today will be a little bit warmer as well. For a wider picture here, we've had high pressure and control. Clear sky right now. We'll start to see an increase of some cloud cover for today, but also going to be watching this cold front, and this is going to bring us a little bit of a drop of those temperatures for the middle part of this week. But today, though, still pretty warm. This morning, we're into the 40s. Lots of sunshine. We'll see an increase of some cloud cover as we head into later this afternoon and evening. Temperatures reaching into the mid to upper 70s. Tom will talk about a little bit of that cool down. Also the potential for some frost or freeze, especially in the next two nights. Your full forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Logan, thanks. In the news this morning, a school in Scranton will remain a polling location in today's primary election, despite having to close temporarily. 
28, 22 Eyewitness News reporter Sydney Costas live from Robert Morris Elementary with voters what they need to know today. Sydney, good morning. Good morning, Tom. Yeah, last week asbestos was found at the school, leading to the temporary closure of it. But Lackawanna County commissioners say voting will still take place here outside inside an EMA command center vehicle. Now the school has been closed since Monday after the cancer causing minerals were found in a second floor ceiling by HVAC consultants. Scranton school officials say the former classrooms currently not being used are underneath where the asbestos was discovered. District officials tell us cleaning and air quality tests were done over the weekend. Results of the test came back late Sunday night. One of the rooms was below the laminate, one was slightly above. All of the samples taken in other areas of the school showed zero asbestos structures. There was no asbestos anywhere in the room and low levels but slightly above the standard in the two rooms directly below the asbestos containing material. Lackawanna County Commissioner stated Monday night that the county will use the EMA mobile command center vehicle for residents to still cast their ballot here or at the school. If this is your polling location, everyone is asked to use the electric street side entrance to register before voting. And now Eyewitness News will be out across the region covering the races that matter to you. We encourage you to get out and vote and watch your vote count both on air and online at pahomepage.com. And voting begins at 7 a.m goes all the way through 8 p.m. We'll be here at Robert Morris showing you guys that vehicle and where exactly to vote if this is your polling place. Tom. Big changes there. Sydney, thank you. Well, bridge work on the highway today and tomorrow could slow down drivers in Luzerne and Lackawanna counties. PennDOT says there will be a lane restriction on Interstate 81 North from the airport exit to the Montage Mountain Road exit. Crews will repair the bridge joints. That work set to begin at 845 this morning and last till about 4 in the afternoon, both today and tomorrow. The future of a fire department's ambulance service that serves people in three counties is uncertain. As 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Madonna Mantione reports from Wyoming County, it comes amid financial hardships and a dwindling number of volunteers. Factoryville Fire Department's ambulance service is facing imminent closure. Members I spoke with warned about the detrimental effects this could have on the communities it serves. <laughs> The fire company provides emergency medical services to eight municipalities in Wyoming, Lackawanna, and Susquehanna counties. It covers 129 square miles and responds to around 700 calls each year. If we were to close, we place that burden on one of the neighboring ambulance services that are strapped themselves. Over the last four years, the ambulance service has been operating under significant financial losses. We're bleeding money, um, trying to pay the staff to cover the ambulance 24 seven and it's hurting the entire business. And so we, we can't keep going forward. But money isn't the only issue. Volunteer shortages have added another layer of hurt. There's eight of us in this department right now trying to keep the ambulance on afloat. We can't do it. We need to put some paid staff on, which we do have three days a week right now. But truthfully, we need more coverage. An apparent solution remains unclear. We would just like to break even so we can keep it on the road to pay the expenses for the equipment, the training, the, the bus itself. And that's what we're trying to do and serve the community without, without having to ask for monetary help. A meeting is scheduled on May 25th here at the Factoryville Fire Company to discuss the matter. Members tell me the ambulance service could close by the end of the year if the situation does not change. In Factoryville, I'm Madonna Mantione, 2822 Eyewitness News. And we're learning more about what was found at the scene of a homicide in Kingston. A search warrant reveals the body of 22-year-old Ryan Padovani was found here at this house at 126 East Bennett Street with a gash to his head last week. Police also say they found shattered glass from a kitchen door that looked like it had been broken into. Court papers also show bloody footprints were found in a nearby bathroom. Investigators took several bloody items, fingerprints and DNA evidence from that home. Now last Friday, Padawani's neighbor, 31-year-old Walter Zollner, was arrested on minor drug charges. He's locked up on $5 million bail. Police searched his side of the duplex last week, but that search warrant remained sealed by a Luzerne County judge and he's Zollner not yet being called a suspect 
by police. Vandals struck again at a big restoration project in Wilkesbury. Police say around 6.30 yesterday morning, two men broke into the historic Iram Temple on North Franklin Street, causing damage. It comes after an incident on Saturday where four young men got through the fence and spray painted the building that's being turned into event space. Members of the restoration project now offering $500 reward to identify those vandals. And if you can recognize them, please call Wilkesbury Police. The phone company began fixing four so-called ghost poles in Luzerne County that were the focus of an I-Team report last week. Rice Township's police chief reached out to the I-Team after he said their calls for help to Frontier Communications went unanswered. The chief said the poles were damaged in crashes or by weather and had been left in unsafe conditions, posing a safety risk. One day after our report aired, Frontier went to the police station and told the chief all those poles would be repaired by the end of the week and those repairs in Mountaintop began yesterday. It is time to paint the town in Lackawanna County. Volunteers with NeighborWorks of Northeastern PA assisting older residents this week yeah, right. so they're able to continue residing in their home safely. Throughout the county this week, seven households will get small home repair services, exterior painting, and yard maintenance. His overall reaction was like, wow, I'm really surprised that we have actual guys that wanted to do this and, and participate in this event. And so many guys are, have a smile on their face. And I said, I, I think that more people, especially younger guys like me, should have that smile on their face when doing something like this. It's a big deal for the community. And those volunteers will be out helping through Saturday in Scranton. Logan joins us now. People heading out to vote today might yeah. want to bring the coat this morning. Yeah, a little bit of a chilly start once again. It's kind of been the, the running theme these past few mornings, Tom, but once again by the afternoon, really warming up and once again, lots of sunshine this morning. We'll start to see an increase of cloud cover as the day goes on. Temperatures reaching back up into the mid to upper 70s, but we'll talk about what we're expecting. A little bit of a cool down for the middle part of this week. Your full forecast right after the break. Tom. Thank you, Logan. Also coming up, a new early detection program for people at a high risk for a certain cancer, how it could help save lives. Then the unofficial start of summer shaping up to be a busy one. What AAA predicts about travel for Memorial Day weekend coming up. You're watching Eyewitness News on WYOU with Kelly Byrne, Tom Williams, and meteorologist Logan Westrope for the latest headlines, breaking news, weather, and much more. Download the PA homepage app, available in the App Store and Google Play. Rooftop Weather is brought to you by FNCB Bank. Simply better, member FDIC.